Hello everyone! Once again, this is Jimmy. Welcome to another episode of my vlog. First of all, I hope everyone's doing fine. And for today, I will do another toy review. For today, I will talk about Kamen Rider or aka, or should I say, Mass Rider Black. Oh no, Mass Rider Black. Sorry, it should be Mass Rider. <laughs> because uh, when I was in 80s, this was very famous for all the Japanese series, the Kamen Rider, the Mass Rider. When the the main act, when the main actor will do the some transforming into the superhero, and then with this awesome suit and fighting with the alien or monster, it was very cool at that time, 70s until now. But there were there were time I missed some series, but still I still enjoy it. So today I want to talk about a Troy review. It's a mint condition from the SIC series. Kiwari Tamashi. Uh, let's talk about Mass Rider then of Sword Four. Uh, from this TV series, this was played by Takeru Sato. It turns out he was the one who played Roruni Kenshi, uh, should be Kenshi Mura, aka Batusai from the live action movie. Yeah, he was, yeah, I just discovered recently and I, think, I can't believe he was the guy who played the Mass Rider and he got the role in playing the Kenshi Mura. They get a good cast. I really like it. And please watch also the Samurai X or Roroni Kenshi live action. This was really nice. So stop up, stop for those topics. Let's talk about the toy review. So So guys, let's talk about the packaging first. For this one we have the SIC Ultimate Soul Kiwami Tamashi for Mass Rider then all sword form. Yeah. And this was from the Bandai and then let's talk about the packaging first and let's talk about the side from the front we can sh it can show us that uh, rider pass all those accessories the hand and the action figure which is a little uh, which is nice for us so we can see what is inside the package and then for the sides nothing and for the back we have the action figure with some poses and then this is for age 15 up yeah ages 15 up and then some couple of japanese character and then series number 12 for this mass rider sword uh then old sword form yeah or you can call it kamen rider yeah and talk about the side again it's nothing simple just simple just simple packaging also and for this one as for the sic Tam kiwami tamashi this one is a little bit, uh, figures are usually modified in a different and Tamashi's counterpart as it seems in the series. It is intended for the writers to closely resemble the one portrayed in the manga or, and should we say, it's much darker theme for this figure. It's smaller and it's affordable. So about enough with those stuff, let's talk about the figures. Let's, so let's uh review this figure first okay let's first open let's talk about the accessories and careful with this one the bag is the logo for this uh mass rider then also the form for this one let's talk about the figure again so what i have here oops somehow the rider pass just fall off from this one as you can see a bit clearer yep this one a bit small so enough with those, let's check for the other stuff, what we have here. So we have the sword for this one. This is Den Gasher. This is the one can this one is the sword form. Uh, the the Mass Rider Black uses for this one. And then let's talk about the the hand stuff what we have here for this packaging. Careful with this. Thing. Oh my god. Let's take it off first so I can discuss it with each uh, weapons or its accessories. So careful with this one. These are a little bit um, old for this one, which I purchased it from last 2010. One more thing. Okay, careful. Okay. So let's talk about with his hand first. So we have two open hands for this one. This character for left and right side. And then 
let's talk about is another set but this one is not uh, what we have here is that both are left oh no right hand for this one as we can see this one is the one who can hold the sword and the other hand is that we can see this a thumbs up oops sorry guys uh, yes. this one thumbs up let's check for the other accessories we have the both side for this belt for this one we can say it's the gusher or the den gusher yeah yes this is the den gusher for this one uh this two that uh, is two belt or from the den gusher this one can transfer into four weapons uh first one is the one we saw is the sword and then the other three is which, which is cannot be transformed so i just explained it to you this uh we can transfer it to the rod uh, and then is there's another axe form and there's another gun form for this one but for now for this one we only have the sword form okay enough with those stuff let's talk about the figure so we have here the figure for this uh mass rider uh then of sword form or you may call it common rider yeah for the sculpture it's a it's very nice and detailed as you can see for his face let's look a close up yep yes for me it looks like a cockroach <laughs> fine but looks uh, looks like yeah but for me it's very look good that the sculpture are very detailed as you can see from the figure detailed yeah and then we have the shoulder part which can move up and down and then the head is a little bit limited so we can move a little bit right and left that's all simple and up and down up and down for the torso yeah up and down <laughs> for this um, arm let's talk about the arm first yeah the arm can rotate 360 both sides yep and then we have the hand and then the elbow can like the articulation for this and the hand can move 360 can you can see yeah oops this is for the belt sorry uh, let's take a look again and oh it's easy loose got loose for this figure okay let's move for a 360 you can see it clearly for this one yeah, let me make a little pose better okay see this one common rider or mass rider then also form this one and then the how about the flags you can move up and down can it move 360 and then the knee this can bend it's two side both can bend and then the ankle can move a little bit up and down but cannot move 360 it's a little bit limited but so far i really like this figure just because of the sculpture and then it's very detailed compare this you can see this one it's a bit smaller yeah of course compared with the sic the bigger one form is much expensive and it's much bigger but for this one it's just for uh affordable and what should i say budget yeah let's try to change his hand first for this one if we try it okay let's try for the one he can which he can open ah change the hand yeah the bolt joint have to be more careful okay change one the one he can hold the sword mm, see and the oops and then we can change also his then gusher let's put it right here for the side so it looks cooler and then the other hand let's check for this one okay okay Okay, let's be more careful okay now this car is holding the sword and let's, let's strike some new poses for this one See? yep very nice i really, really like this figure i sub collect some other kamen rider figure also which i have the kamen rider dk hopefully next time i can give a review for that figure so as of now we'll talk about this deno sword Oh, then oh sword form sorry guys and so far it's very nice see this very detailed yeah okay so as of this figure i give it a 
total overall 10 i maybe i give it around eight yeah eight over ten for this one i i really like this the sculpture which i the one thing i really doesn't uh with more disagree is that the accessory is just so very simple i was hoping that maybe the sword which can they have the gun the axe or the rod the other figure or the weapons or accessories which but this one's just simple it's just a budget yeah so it's that that simple so that's it mm, let's check one more time for this figure sorry let's check. okay yeah very cool figure i really like this one so okay let's take a look at some pictures shall we okay That's it for today. Thank you guys for watching this episode. Stay tuned for another episode of my blog. And before that, please don't forget to hit the like button here and subscribe. Okay, so guys, please take care. See you next time. Okay, bye bye. Henshin.